What's up, beat gang? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Robro, and I'm back with another quick video. And this video is a cooking video. So, um, as you can see, I got some broccoli here and some water and a little bit of vinegar. I'm gonna wash it. Basically, I'm, 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 I'm about to wash my broccoli. But, um, so what I'm gonna make today is called stir fry, but this is gonna be a veget somewhat vegetable stir fry and um over here i got some chicken thigh i'm about to cut these into strips and i'm gonna season it wash it clean it season it and all that good stuff and cut it into strips so it's gonna look like chicken tender but not really chicken tender and that's gonna be my meat for the stir fry, but it's gonna mostly be vegetable. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this one. I will see when I start cutting this one up first. I'm gonna see if I need some more. If, if I do need some more, I'm gonna take probably like two or three pieces from this one. And over here, we got some um, bell pepper. I got two red and two yellow as you can see in the bag and basically that's it so um i might ask wifey when she get home to to make some mashed potato to go on this side so um stay tuned guys i'm about to stop the video this is still gonna be in the container while i cut my chicken up and all that good stuff and then i will be right back um what else am i missing anything also guys i don't got soya sauce and all that stuff but um let me see if i got any inside the cupboard um what i'm gonna use what i'm gonna use is a little beanie 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 bit of browning uh what else? and i'm gonna use some of this I used it the last time and everybody enjoyed it and everybody loved it. I know this is not what you used to make it, but this is going to be how I make my stir fry my way, okay? I think that's the right name, stir fry, yeah. Vegetable stir fry. So this is Asian Zing. You can find this at Walmart. And um, if, you do, if you can't find browning, you can always use um, Gravy Master. But um, I'll be right back, guys. And then I will show you um, what I how I make it step by step. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, so we, like I said, we doing the broccoli and some carrot plus these. I'm not probably I won't use all the bell pepper. I might just use one red one or orange and one yellow. And this is my carrot. Carrot is already in the pot. Um, it doesn't really matter what size you cut it up. <clears throat> my hand is clean. So I cut it in two. And then like the, by the, the end of the carrot, I only cut it like this in another style. It doesn't really matter how you cut it up, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put my broccoli on top of the carrot. We got like a little bit of water in the pot because you don't need to really, I don't know if you can see the water. There is the water right there. You don't really need to cook, cook the carrot and cook, cook the broccoli. It's basically gonna steam. So I'm getting ready to put um, the broccoli inside the pot and let everything steam. Um, I, know, I know you guys probably gonna say this is a lot of broccoli. I'm not gonna lie, I actually like eating broccoli even though it stink. And um, remember I had the broccoli earlier in the container soaking with a little bit of vinegar and then I end up washing it off with some clean water. So if I don't end up using all of this broccoli, I might just put some in a Ziploc bag and put it inside the fridge. But I like eating broccoli. 
should have cut this one into two. Might leave that one for last. I think I'm gonna leave the rest of this because I still need I'm gonna need to put this when everything is done I'm gonna need to put it in a different pot to add the trick in and then mix it around with the thing that I showed you guys earlier the browning and the Asian zen so yeah I think I'm gonna leave the rest of that and put it in a little ziplock bag um, but for now I'm gonna make that do its thing and I'm gonna uh, Cut my chicken up and season it up. Cut it up, wash it off, season it up, and then I'll be right back, okay? But this is how it looks so far. I'm about to put my cover on on the pot, and then I'll be right back, okay? Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hey guys, I'm back again. So my chicken was already washed, and as you can see, it's seasoning right. Um, it's seasoned right now, and. I'm gonna so I'm gonna end up peeling some potato and I'm gonna actually need to put this deep this little deep fryer that we have outside because we don't normally fry, fry the chicken inside the house because it's gonna make the house smell like chicken so while the deep fryer is um, heating up I'm gonna peel this potato and it's it's not gonna be it's not even gonna be a lot and hours, but you know normally I always say you should season your chicken from overnight for the season to soak into the chicken and all of that good stuff. But I'm gonna leave this right here, let it sit for like a couple minutes, it's not even gonna be that long. And I'm gonna peel some potato because I told wifey um, if we can make some mashed potato go on the side. So while I'm peeling the potato and while the deep fryer is heating up, the season should kind of somewhat soak in the chicken for a little while. So I'm gonna leave that right here and let me bring you guys over here. I just take the broccoli off the stove and look how colorful this look. The broccoli is already cooked. I don't like how that one look because it's the color of the brown. But it still can eat, it's already washed. The broccoli is already steamed and cooked with vegetable, everything. What I'm gonna do when I'm finished frying my chicken, I'm gonna put it in a different pot, everything into a different pot. And then I'm gonna spin it around with the chicken and all of that good stuff after the chicken is done fried. And guys, this is my way of making stir fry. But um, let me go put this deep fry outside and then I will be right back. Oh guys, I forgot to tell you, um, tell you, this is the size I cut the chicken thigh. Yeah, chicken thigh. You can cut it whatever, whatever size you like. Um, and I'm gonna bring you guys outside real quick and show you guys the deep fry I was telling you about. We have this deep fry a good while now. Probably need to change it soon. Okay, you can see look the smoke I come out. There. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, I have look at dust on it from the inside. I probably need to wipe it out, but it's it's clean on the inside. Okay, don't worry about the look of dust. Dust travel everywhere. And don't mind the stuff you see in the background. I just rest upon this table because we don't know where else rest it. Okay. Um, so the hile is out right now, so I'm gonna grab my chicken and put it inside the deep fry and then fry it and then grab my other pot and all of that good stuff, okay? So I'll be right back again. Okay guys, I'm back. Chicken is finished frying. Is um, that all the chicken? Yeah. This is my... <laughs> yes. Yo, you gonna put all that chicken... That look at that chicken in all of this? Yeah, boxer. Anyway guys, um, the chicken is done. I'm about to change the pot with the broccoli and stuff. And then I'm gonna mix up everything and wife you over there making the mashed potato. We have what we make. But let me change this pot and I will be right back. Okay guys, um, this is the finishing product. So I have the stove turned on and low. 
because I just made the sauce to pour over it and then I'm gonna put the cover back over it so it can steam bounce off back off of the pot come and go back down into the pot if that makes sense to you guys and um, basically it's done but I just want the sauce to do its thing so um, I know I didn't show you guys when I was frying the chicken and um, I didn't tell you like how long you should let the chicken fry for fry for but um, normally when I fry my chicken, it could be chicken wing and chicken thigh, for example. I wait till the chicken start floating. That's how I know it's kind of already, or it's done. And then you know over here, we got the mashed potato. So that's about it guys. Look how that look colorful. And this is my, I'm gonna say this is my chicken stir fry. This is all how I make it. So, yeah, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Okay, peace. I'm out. Oh, oh, guys, I forgot to mention one thing. So, I end up, I still use this one, the Asian Zing. Um, this is also browning, but this one is like a camouflage. So, I end up using that one and not this strong one. They are all browning, but this one is a little bit stronger. And then, um, so these are the three things I use. And then I use a little bit of honey. It don't have to be raw honey. You can use any honey you have, but it's the only honey we have, the raw one. So I use that and a little bit of brown sugar. So what I did, I pour all of these, a little bit of this, like a teaspoon or less than a teaspoon in a cup some of this in the same cup the honey in the cup and the raw I mean the brown sugar in a cup and add a little bit of water and then mix it mix it mix it till you mix all the sugar grain out and then you pour it inside the pot and that's the finishing product you can see the water dripping off the cover that's how we want it to look. And that's the finishing product, okay? Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Peace, I'm out.